Now, a nice glass of wine can do wonders for a weary brain and miserable mood. So can Japanese sake, says our next guest. And just like wine sommeliers, they are sake sommeliers and better known as sake samurais. It's actually a title given to sake master, whose role includes spreading sake culture around the world. Ayuchi Momose is one of the 40 sake samurais in the world, and she recently dropped by our studio to give us a glimpse into the world of sake. Sake is made out of rice, water, yeast, and mold and mold is known as koji mold. Those are the four main ingredients. And it's a fermented uh, brood product, not distilled. Mm -hmm. Are there many different types or different grades of sake? Yes, there are two large categories. One is called table sake. Table sake has a, a lot of additional distilled alcohol. And the other category, is called, is, which is premium sake, is called special designation sake. Right. And those has eight different grades. Oh, even within the special designation, there are eight different grades. So what yes. are the different grades? Why are they different? The main uh, difference is how rice is polished. The most premium one, rice must be polished down to 50 or less of the original size. Mm -hmm. So for example, this one, Jumai Daiginjo, they use the rice polished down to 50 or smaller grain. They remove okay. outside of grain and they only use middle part of the rice. Which I guess means the process takes longer. It takes also. longer and uh, rice will contain higher uh, starch. Mm -hmm. So that makes sake uh, very smooth and delicate. Right. Whereas the one in the middle, you were telling me just a bit earlier, is a bit cloudy. Uh, yes. Why is that? Well, they are basically all the sake looks like this before filtration. Mm -hmm. And this one is filtered with very rough cloth. So a piece of rice goes into it. Oh, a piece of rice goes into it. Yes, that's why it's milky. I see, I yes. see. And the third one you have, is that the table, like the table sake? It is a table sake and um, uh, stored in a cedar wood cask. Mm -hmm. So it has a very nice cedar wood aroma. Okay. So I guess uh, when you're picking a sake, I've also heard of people choosing either to drink it hot or cold. Mm -hmm. Is there a difference? Are some sakes better drunk hot or uh, cold? Definitely. Normally, premium sake is served cold. All the see. premium sake. So those two, I would, I won't recommend to heat up. But this one, uh, you can warm up a little bit. Okay. But then normally sake tastes sweeter when you um, warm up a little bit. So if you like, if you try a type of sake and thinks it's too dry, you can raise the temperature. And if something is too sweet for you, you can lower the temperature. But you don't want to drink the good sake hot because... No, aroma will disappear. I see, yes. so the aroma. But then if it's too cold, you also don't get the aroma, right? Correct. So, <laughs> so the best temperature mentioned. is somewhere between 5 to 10. Centigrade. Between 5 and 10, ten degrees? Degree, yes. Uh, for, okay, okay. Now you are a sake, uh, sa sake samurai, yes. is that correct? And you are in fact one of the few women in the world to have this title. Uh, yes. How, how did you end up, did you choose this line of... <laughs> no, well, I have been working as a sake sommelier for uh, over 10 years. And sake samurai is something you get appointed by a group of uh, sake um, uh, organization mm -hmm. and I was uh, honored to be chosen as a sake samurai last year but I have been in the sake industry for okay. almost 10 years. Okay. And most of them are men right? We hear they're only about what about 10 About 10 women? female yeah. yes. Okay. I, I, do you find that men and women have different approach to, to I guess looking at the sake? It is still sake industry is dominated by men at this moment mm -hmm. So there are more male uh, sake uh, professional sake sommeliers in the world than female. So that's, that's the main reason why there are fewer okay. female sake samurai, I believe. But I think we are the same, pretty much yeah. the same. Uh, I guess once everyone has a drink, everyone's about the same. <laughs> yes, I think so. <laughs> but you brought in some food yes. this morning as well, mm -hmm. and we want to ask you a bit about pairing. I mean, how would you decide what kind of sake goes with which kind of food? Maybe you can explain a little bit to us. Sure. Uh, my favorite to pair with this kind of premium sake is cold dish, especially light flavored food. Mm -hmm. So sushi will be very good with this Jumai Daiginjo grape. Jumai Daiginjo is very smooth, clean, and uh, has a very nice aroma. Mm -hmm. So you should always uh, try to pair this type of premium sake with uh, not very strong flavored food. Okay, so uh, a curry won't work no, so well? No, won't work very well. Okay. But uh, this uh, cask sake, my favorite is to pair with steak. Mm. Grilled, uh, stronger flavored uh, meat dishes. 
will okay. be very good with cask sake. And also a little bit spicy food. Mm -hmm. Singapore has a lot of yes. great spicy food, laksa or chili right. club. I personally don't take a lot of spicy food very well. Okay. But Crowdy sake is very good. Crowdy sake is a little bit on the sweeter side because it has a lot of rice. Right. So spicy food and crowdy sake is my favorite pairing. Okay, and I would take it because you can drink it cold as well. Is yes. A bit yes. hard to have a hot drink here. Uh, but with, is it similar to wines? I mean, in terms of the alcohol content, are we looking at more the hard liquor? I mean, what's a typical sake? No, uh, sake is brewed beverage and alcohol content is somewhere between 15 and 17. So slightly higher than uh, regular wines, but a lot lower than hard liquors or spirits. Okay. Between 15 and 17. Ayuji Mamose there, Asake Samile and also Asake Samurai. You know, uh, sharing with us a bit more about what you need to know about sake. I, uh, that bit about drinking it hot and cold, I didn't realize that, you know, that you drink the better ones cold. Yeah. Uh, because I guess it doesn't, you don't lose some of the flavor when you uh -huh. heat it up, you know, then, uh, yeah. 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 Oh, we have a Korean version of it called Makkali. Oh, okay. I don't know if you've heard of it. No. It's also from, uh, you know, rice. A rice wine. It's, mm -hmm. it's done in a similar way, but ours is unfiltered. So ours mm. are all cloudy in that sense. Mm -hmm. So it's sweeter. Have you tried it before? Not the Korean version. No, um, I haven't. The, the, the cloudy Japanese sake is yes. very similar to that. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. I, I do like sake, actually. And it's uh, yeah. especially with Japanese food, it somehow it works it very well. <laughs> yeah. Maybe Coming it's up. just out there in your head. <laughs> <laughs> the same way I think champagne works well with anything I eat. So, yeah, that's probably <laughs> also up there in my head.